Evening guys, welcome to this day uh, program. Now, tonight we're at a very haunted orphanage. Now this orphanage is at least, f uh, well, 300, 400 years old. Uh, it was built in the 1700s, so get your maths out and calculate that. Uh, there's been a lot of deaths in this place, an awful lot. And to be fair, um, this is where we are now, is in the uh, cell area where they used to lock people up and uh, it was a rare, ins I think it was a rare insanity place as well, um, as an asylum uh, at one time and, uh, and it's been a care home as well, it finished up as a care home in the 1990s, it, sh it shut down uh, because of loads of abuse and everything what was going off in this place, it's unbelievable. Uh, it was national news at the time as well. Uh, we're here tonight to see if we can uh, hopefully pick something up tonight. It's a very haunted place. Uh, we know there uh, is spirits all over this place and uh, it has a long, horrid history. And uh, hopefully we'll pick something up tonight. <laughs> spikes wow that's that's strong mine's shooting up as well mate i'm getting a real big spike up okay mine went up to three then we've got the k2 going up to yellow here that's... going up to three mm. yes that's uh interesting not that mean, is it? no no no, no, no you're no. too far away mate i just w w go into that corner there still there um, um, is your phone on flight mode? Yeah, My, that's yeah. why I've got SIM card on it, that one. Right, okay. Okay, interesting. Um, you can see this. That's just gone. That one like 16, 17. Yeah. Could you increase again for me? Turn the ticking noise off, Dawn, because it's annoying, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Look oh. at that! Oh, yeah, 2.1. Wow. 3.3. 4.1. Thank you. My K2's gone down to zero now. Oh, mm, that is strange. Unless it's moved over here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Is he picking your phone up? That's no. what I said. No SIM card in that. Um, what about yours, Dawn? I mean, it's not going to pick. No? not really strong even with the phone is it? It, it is picking is the phone up, it is there. But look, but my that's been really there. close to it. Yeah, that's not picking your phone up from there. No. That's because that's spiking up to yellow. Where my signal went, because when you said it dropped, my signal went... Yeah. No, because you're too far away mate. The easiest way to debunk it from being a, a signal is for using a trifield and doing RF. And if that goes crazy then it is picking up a mobile phone signal. But that's no, it's 0 0.5 which is an average. Right, but it has gone up to four, that hasn't it? No, it's 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Yeah, right, so okay. if it goes over one, then yeah. it could be affected. It could be given EMF off of a phone signal. But oh, because yeah. we're on. All right, I'm good. I'll go. Yeah, but if I go back to magnetic field. Yeah. Do you get me? So. So RF is anything with a radio frequency, like a wireless or a telephone. So what about the magnetic field then? If, does that go up? If, if that goes up, is it uh, possible that you got some sort of pressure? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, we do have natural occurrences that could cause magnetic fields, but it, it's but again, they can cause hauntings as well. Yeah. Um, you can have faulty electrical appliances and that, but there ain't no no live electric in here. So, okay. Yeah. So I am picking some uh, pink up there, guys. I can't explain what that is. I've uh, I had a word with John about all this, and he's not sure either. No. Um, the, the, there's some kind of heat source there. I'm not sure what it is. I, um, to be honest with you, it, because it's picking heat up, that's what's confusing me. Yeah. Because that's an outside wall, and it should be picking up cold spots. Right, so you, you go to the actual wooden door there, you see, it gets more intense. Yeah. So I'm a bit confused, but we've got to look at that. That wooden door is going to hold some residual energy because look at the door. It's got yeah. a peephole 
Yeah. It would have been used yeah. or, or, as, a, as a nasty thing for the kids. Yeah, it, it would have been, yeah. So it's going to have bad energy attached to it. And I think that's what it is that's causing this uh, fluctuation in colour. Um, yeah. Now I've never even seen any colour on this. Yeah. In fact, till tonight I thought it was black and white. <laughs> <laughs> I have really had no colour on it tonight and uh, at all. And tonight I've just had that pink. And it, I don't know, can't explain. But it's gone now. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, and plus, if it was, if it was because of an outside wall being colder, yeah, it wouldn't be solid and there all the time, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Be, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. He's back actually, and it is more intense around the door. Yeah, agreed. Okay, interesting. Well, there's your baseline reading through the room. It's already wacky as it goes. Yeah, aye. Um, what we need to remember, guys, in this room is um, there were children that would have been uh, punished and tortured just for simple things like cheeking back, stuff that our kids take for granted nowadays. And um, they, all they would have done is given them a bit of attitude and they'd have been locked in here for two days, three days uh, on basic rations and uh, literally punished. And it, you can, like, um, the electrics you see in here would have been put in here 80 years later. There wouldn't have been electrics in here. There would have been a peephole. A small little thin mattress on here mm. and that's it and there was a there's a hole on the floor where they, they used to have, have to pee yeah? yeah they used to have to use the toilet so even a sanitary environment was, was disgusting that and, that would have been here because you can see the old yes pipes here, that's right yeah. so you can imagine the children um and and we and it was allowed to happen and the salt dispenser here yeah. yeah yeah wrong isn't it yeah so that's why I think this room is so active. I think it carries so much residual energy. Mm. Yeah, I feel the vibe down here actually. It's not nice, is it? No. Uh, and there's a couple of rooms up further down as well. Um, I don't know what they were used for, but probably not so. I think one was for the heating system. One for the heating yeah. system, yeah, you're correct there. There's, there's an old boiler there. And the end one, uh, it's got a window in it. I wonder if that yeah. was a cell. Uh, yeah, it might have been. It might have been. You never know, dear. No. You don't. Interesting though. But what's confusing is after this was not an orphanage, why did they keep it? Why did it, even when it were care why didn't they just get rid of this room and change it? But they didn't. No. That's a car. That's a car, <laughs> right. So I think the easiest way would be spirits, while we are a well, good evening to anyone that's here. Um I want to tell you our intentions tonight are to, are to kind of communicate with those that are no longer alive and with us, but to also give you a bit of reassurance that we're here to help. We've got some technology. We can also feel and see you. And we want to help if we can. But we'd like you to answer some questions. So first of all, using the energy that we can provide and give off, is there anything that you can do to let us know that you're here by making a noise? A scream maybe, or a whistle, or a knock? Anything at all, please work with us today. This is when people's tummies start rumbling and... You start thinking, what's yeah. that? Yeah. You don't need to be intimidated by us, I promise you. I've been here before. Some tappings. Is that Dominique or is there some tapping? Did you knock? No. No. No, no I didn't. I mean, it's quiet, quite slight now, but I don't know if I'm standing on here. Could have been you, Dominique. No, it didn't sound like that. Creak. Mm. Well, I did make a noise when you said you... He came, he came from out there. Mm. I, did, I didn't hear anything before. No. What about finishing my knock so we know it's in consistency? I don't know if I heard that then. Once more. There was a slight two knocks then, weren't there, side of me, Zav? I didn't hear anything. I don't know if the camera would have picked it up, it was literally here, right. because you saw I was sat still. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, little tune. <laughs> little tune. Ah, little bit of a tune, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're not tuning one. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Well, are you see. ready? Hello, my name's Paul. We've got John, Xavier, Dawn, and Dominic. What's your name, please? to do the same one okay yep okay yep do you want to you've got our names do you want to mention one of our names please uh maybe john maybe paul maybe dawn xavier is a little bit more complicated for some reason and dominic spirit Please re-explain to us what this room was actually used for, for the majority of the existence of this building. Well, if you stop it there, Paul, I'll play yours back and then we'll do one on one as well. Paul, I do want to try and keep my voice down because they're only upstairs. I can't remember saying that. It's just after midnight. No, that's an old that's one. An old one. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing exactly what I do now. I do that all the time. Ready? Hello, my yeah, name's same. Paul. We've got John, Xavier, Dawn, and Dominic. What's your name, please? That will you worry, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, yep. Do you want to... You've got our names. Do you want to mention one of our names, please? Uh, maybe John, maybe Paul, maybe Dawn. Xavier is a little bit more complicated for some reason. And Dominic. Spirit. Please re-explain to us what this room was actually used for, for the majority of the existence of this building. Yeah, okay, we'll head out, yeah, head out and that uh, <coughs> and... Yeah, I'll try this one as well. See if we can find out, yeah. EVP session two. So spirits, we're going to ask you to kind of answer a few more questions. So my name's John. Do you remember me being here before? Hello, um, yeah, that's the same, my name's Paul, um, can you tell me, are you, have you been down here a long time? Is this your uh, worst place, your worst nightmare? Did you die in this building? We would like to free you from this place. Are you unhappy here? They've not 
seen it when we've moved to Spirit on you, have they? Mm. That's, that's special, isn't that? I said yes. Doesn't matter that. Questions. So my name's John. Do you remember me being here before? I might have missed it the first time. I'll end up seeing it out. Interesting. This um it's just a feeling you get in here. Yeah. I mean we are in the cellar. We are in the cell where they used to lock people and uh probably for next to nothing really. Mm. And they could have been in here for days. God yeah. And young children as well. Could you imagine? Mm. Must have been terrible. Age of five years, well, even younger maybe. Yeah. You can't imagine it, can you, these days? No. It's a sad looking place. So yes, and then we monocoddle our children, don't we? Yeah. Crazy. Okay. But the thing is, you know, the children what would be down here, the people what um, would have today got learning difficulties, that kind of thing, you know. Um, uh, not always, no. We've got, I mean, yeah, obviously there, there's, there's going to be a few of them, but they were, they were literally, um, if you think back to war times, they were literally standard orphans that were put in here. You know, people who'd lost their parents at yeah. war and um, they were always your element of uh, people with LDs that were, were here. But uh, yeah, there, there was also your um, your orphans that just literally were so lucky to have yeah. lost parents. And I'm going back down, back to a, an asylum uh, year, you when uh, this was an asylum place. Yeah, there was uh, a, a, a record of that. Yeah, we heard about that as well. Um, of, of there being some kind of uh, an it, era it of it. It tags into being an asylum to me because uh, because of the cell. Yeah. No, I get exactly what you're talking about. We we, we heard about that. We didn't know how true it were. Mm. Um, about there being, um, I don't know, children with extra needs, let's just say. Yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it were, we didn't know how true it were, but it makes sense, doesn't it? It does. I mean, when you think about it, it used to lock people up uh, just just for being depressed. Depressed, you know. Well, uh, we were in a lunatic asylum the other night, and we yeah. and we were saying that people got locked up for life just for having a bit of postnatal depression. Yeah, exactly. A bit of anxiety. Yeah. Well, normally, when you got into an asylum, you, you didn't come out. Exactly. Yeah. You were life. Yeah. yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Not very nice. Mm. Shall we move on? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, OK, guys, we're going to move upstairs and we're going to move higher and higher yeah. uh, until we reach the top. So, yeah. OK, anything different from this? It's just OK, like, uh, so we've moved upstairs and uh, we're going to have a look around what's, uh, what's happening here. It's not so too big down here and there's a lot of demolition. The, the ceiling's gone in, in quite a few places, so we have to watch where we're walking around here. Uh, we're in some kind of uh, old sitting room, we've looked at it. Uh, yeah. But then I question whether it was a kitchen yeah, there. Yeah, well, there's a it. fan there, so uh, it could and have tiles been. Wall up. And tiles, all right, the tiles still there, yeah. And the pantry. <coughs> so maybe it was a. I think this was a kitchen, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we've got the old sink down there. Yes, you're right. The corner, so 100% kitchen. <coughs> Mm. Damn 
Yes. Right. I am just going to swoop round with a K2 meter. Yeah, that's powered mark. Let's have a look round again. It's obviously where they kept the, uh, the food, it's like a pantry. The old tile floor still there. Look. It's not actually, it's not tile, is it? Look at the waiters actually. No. They're very kitchen you know, down on that Very screen. American floor, yeah. pattern wise. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, uh, I could do with the other lights, have you? Have you got that? Okay. Okay. What was that here? Are you upstairs, Dominic? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shoot, sir. Ah, I, thought, I saw a figure walk there. He's up. Just walk past. Nothing really in here. If you look, the ceiling's good though. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, this this would have been a city room. Yeah. This area, the whole, the whole floor is coming, or the whole ceiling and the floor of the room above has come down. So we don't want to get too close to that. As you can see, the floor has gone through here. We all the way to the room of what's come down. Yeah. Just watch that old laser. Notice board there. I would imagine this um, is some sort of reception area. Originally. Yeah, so uh, we're going to do a little visual on this level and see if we can um, bring anything in. That's the point of entry where we came in. Good work. The kids haven't come back enough. Have they? They yeah, haven't, no. That's right. I scared them good and proper. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have seen me, all they would have seen it light. Yeah. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. We're about to come upstairs. Is there anyone that wants to tell me the name? Do, do you want to say John, Paul, Zav, or Dawn? Okay, it's all the queen again. It's that one that said Xavier and Paul last time, do you remember? Yeah. It was happened twice, it happened at the RAF and at Watabe. It's twice now. Yeah. Do, do you mind if we come upstairs? Men job. Yeah. Will you communicate with us if we come out? When you're ready. Well, we're very ready. Please, please, John. Shall we have a walk up? Yeah, let's do it. While well, you're up for it. You all done? Mm -hmm. You're all right, Doug. Can I put a floor in there, mate? Yeah. It's all right here, it's just going to get rolled. All right. Oh, 
we've opened it up. This used to be uh, uh, bricked up this. All right. And it used to be a hidden room back there. Yeah, but it's still there. It's still there. Yeah, but 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 it's still Oh, oh, there's a way out, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, not exactly. No. In an emergency, probably. Not really. No. Feel good at not, not even in an emergency. Well, if you're athletic, you probably could. Take the camera out there and have a look. Nah. This is the room what's gone through, so let's be careful here. Be careful here, have you? Mm. You see there. I'm not going to bench him up too far. Nice little fireplace. Yeah. I don't know where the actual fireplace is going, it's probably down at the bottom. Do you know that? Not go in there. It's not worth the risk. Just watch the wood's got nails sticking out of it. Oh, there's a pile of doors, isn't it? Well, Don't you come in too far because... Yeah, know. IT centre. Oh, IT centre. Inquiries yeah. and administration, I'm guessing that's it. Right. Yeah. Administration. Before I can help you, I need to understand what your name is. Please tell me your name. No. Oh man. And it's very peculiar because he's claiming he's stuck here. Right. But he's not a child, he's not. He's, he's a bloke my age group, if not older. Right. So why would so a man about our age group be stuck here for? And when a spirit says, tells you they're stuck in a place, they're psychologically stuck. Spirits are never stuck anywhere, they're just psychologically stuck. I don't understand why he would be stuck. No. Somebody at your age wouldn't have been a patient, would he? Yeah. <sighs> not, not in a care room? No, I, I'd probably say in a care room or even an orphanage would probably be more... We've got several levels. It could be somebody who lived in a mansion in Clifton Park. Yeah. It could be somebody who worked as in the orphanage or even somebody who worked in the uh, care room. Mm. Can you tell me, did you work in, in any of these facilities? Yeah. Yeah. Where? The care home or the orphanage? Yeah. That's a care. The camera said care. care. And then how? Yeah. Was it the care home? Yeah. 
But why? Why? Why are you stuck here then? Do you feel a sense of guilt? No. You do realise you can move on of your own free accord. Do you know that? I do. Is somebody else keeping you here? Maybe it's a child. Mm, it's hard to say. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's another staircase around the corner. That takes you to the top floor. Yeah. There, mm. Mm. That's an interesting floor, that is. Mm. Really interesting. I did pick someone who, we've got to be very careful what words we use on YouTube. There is somebody who won a live to themselves up mm. there. And I'll show you the exact area it happened as well. And he always communicates, very responsive. But we just need to be careful what words we use. And if we do accidentally slip up and use a word, we need to edit it out or beep it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. watch what you said there. Uh. Well, if he, if he does, it happens, mate. If he does, just beep it out, yeah, when, yeah. We're, uh, when you're editing it. Okay. This way we can test your psychic abilities in a minute. See if you can tell where. This person did his deed. Yeah. Right. a steel staircase, that's all the way out. Okay. So what's your, your foot in, I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I find really interesting up here, Paul? Mm -hmm. up here. I know for a fact that this happened around one of the World Wars as well. Look on in this part. They've labelled where they used to want a bed start and start. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know where kids were in the attic. Yeah. So, quite interesting. It's pretty warm in here, isn't it? It is. Mild night, though, isn't it? It is mild. But if you walk into some other rooms, particularly down in the cellar, it's absolutely cold. Yeah. Even in the cellar, it's pretty warm. Then you walk down to the end. Yeah. And there's a cold spot. Yeah, absolutely. Now, look, these are even more labels, look. So, they would have had. I bet they've, um, they would have stacked them all up. Beds in here. So why is it a staircase, isn't it? I don't know, maybe they were planning redeveloping it. Yeah. It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that was... Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. We might have been planning on doing this staircase. Absolutely. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stain here. <laughs> could be worse, could be rats. Oh, it could be. So guys, there was a man in Because of certain things he did in his life, he felt a massive amount of guilt and unalive himself. Where do you think that happened? Use your psychic senses, see if you can tune into where it happened. You don't, you can't do anything, just don't. So are we saying it happened in this room? Anywhere upstairs. So I think the other room where the pigeons are. Because there's some rafters in there. Do you reckon? Yeah. I am thinking this roof, yeah. Okay. Mm. Left, is that? Yeah. Is that corner? Yeah. Okay. So, when did this happen? We don't know. Quite a long time ago, to be honest with you. Within the last 30 years. And do you feel that there's a presence over there? Oh, God, yeah. Massively. Yeah. You can see him. Well, 
you know, generally. Just what she puts in there. It's a bit spongy around here. So he usually yeah, communicates. Yeah, it's okay. You feel safe enough, but. Yeah. Spread it, you want our first communication tonight? I've told you before that you don't need to stay where you are. I understand that you're suffering with some kind of guilt. Well, whatever punishment you think you deserve, you've paid for that now. Do you not understand that? Compared to the other rooms. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of heavy, kind of Drain in it. Yeah, there's a heaviness in here. Yeah. <coughs> How are you feeling, Bob? Um, I'm, I'm not getting anything. You're not? No. I feel a little bit heavy in this room compared to yeah. any other room I've been in for some reason and I don't know what it is. I think it's because of that mate, to be honest with you. It could, yeah, could be. It's a bit of a sad room isn't it, as a yeah. sad mm -hmm. passage room. I mean the whole building does really. Totally. Yeah. Makes you wonder what people, people do with uh, Absolutely. Why? Yeah, why? And uh, well, we've got a reason, I suppose. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> can you imagine if, you, if you're doing something like that, you, and you, you think, oh, I'm all right now. Well, it's too late, isn't it? You know. Well, you wouldn't be able to live with yourself really, would you? Yeah, <coughs> it's. Say it's a cow's way, but I don't think it is. Well, they say it's a cow's way out, but I reckon it's one of the bravest things you can do. It is. Especially if he, he witnessed what he could have witnessed here. Mm, I don't think it's to do with that, mate. I, I don't think he's even from here. Okay. I think he came in and did it after the place had been derelict. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, it's got a, uh, still got a roof on anyway. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is more than the other parts got. Interesting building though, isn't it? Yeah. It's very good, yeah. Right, yeah. Absolutely. So, we've well, we covered it all. Yeah. I've only got bits and bobs, bobs of paranormal. Um, but it's not always about things jumping out at you. No, no, no. It's no. about feelings, it's about uh, subtle bits of paranormal. Mm. And that's why it's, you're gonna, a lot of people look at some of these fake teams out there or the stuff you see on telly, and that's what makes us, the true paranormal channels, harder job to yeah. keep fans interested because yeah. Makes us work harder. Yeah, true. Exactly. Yeah. But then we'll think to work harder because we love what we do. Exactly. Yeah, we love being in places like this. Yeah, and, I agree. Uh, I, I always think these places are the best places rather than uh, even a set up place like 30 East Drive where we're going tomorrow. I prefer abandoned buildings. I, I prefer yeah. something like this. Do you know this, my yeah. view that got me into uni was a abandoned a train station. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. That then became a gentleman's club and then became a train station again. Yeah. But my view is with these buildings like this, it soaks up the so history, history of it yeah. and yes. the walls themselves and the area talks. It Stone it. tape theory, it's called, and records history in time. Well, we've recorded some history in time tonight. I hope yeah. you've enjoyed that and. Uh, it is. Uh, it has got a lot of sad history. This place, and we have felt it in uh, occasionally in these as well. Um, I'm not sure whether uh, it's really active. To be fair, but uh, if you've heard anything, you've seen anything, let us know in the comments, and uh, hopefully uh, we can have a look at that. It has been done before on my video. Somebody's noticed things, and I haven't editing, so uh, it's important that you do. So take some photo shots and let us know. Right, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on another chance.